welcome to your mid-month general reading. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, we are going into Valentine's Day. Actually, I'm recording this the day before Valentine's Day. So I want to wish all of you a very happy Valentine's Day. Um, I know it's sometimes can be a difficult holiday for those of us who don't have a significant other, but please know that you are very much loved and the universe loves and supports you in all that you do. And um, we also have a new moon solar eclipse in Aquarius the following day. So um, yes, we have the dark moon on Valentine's Day, <coughs> on, Valentine's, <coughs> on Valentine's Day, and then we're going into the solar eclipse uh, new moon the following day on the 15th. So pretty exciting times, lots of new beginnings and endings. Um, and then we'll be journeying into Pisces season, uh, the latter half of February going into March. So this is a general reading. Uh, we're not really focusing on love per se. If love situation comes up, you know, I'll address it. If money or in career comes up, I'll address it. This is basically just a general reading. We're looking at the past, present, and future. And uh, I also want to thank all of you for your support over on Patreon. I forgot to mention that. If, uh, I usually don't, I don't think I talk about it enough, but I really do appreciate all of you guys being on here with, with me, and uh, be sure to like the videos that you watch, uh, that lets me know if you resonate or not, be sure to comment, just like you do on YouTube, uh, if you do comment like on YouTube, it really helps me out. Um, I'm going to be using the Lover's Path Tarot right here by Chris Wilder, and uh, just because of the, you know, February being very loving energy this month. Uh, we also have that Aquarius Pisces energy, which is a bit, uh, it's, you know, that air energy. And then we have the water energy. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit crazy. It's a little bit like using your left brain and then having to switch over and using your right brain. So, um, there's definitely going to be two different energies kind of rubbing up against each other right around this time, especially going into that new moon. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what comes up. Now I am reading for your sun, moon, and rising sign. And also, I suppose if you have your Venus in Leo. So uh, sun in Leo, moon in Leo, uh, rising Leo, Leo rising, or Venus in Leo. And also if you happen to be on the cusp of Leo. So also for the oracle messages, I may be pulling a romance angels message or a psychic tarot for the heart. Or possibly both. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to keep it kind of loose because these readings, they do take up a lot of time. And I just want to, you know, I want to uh, keep it flexible. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. And uh, I'm going to continue uh, shuffling these cards on camera. Spirit, what are the general messages and energies that you have for the sign of Leo and something popped out? We have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so typically this card talks about needing to lay something to rest, needing to walk away from something that has been disappointing, needing to move on. Okay, um, there can be turbulent emotions at this time. I'm sensing, Leo, that you have someone that is trying to get your attention, but you're having none of it. In fact, you know exactly why. Uh, see how she's trying to get his attention. He's just laying there. Uh, something may feel like it's always missing, and you may just have been disappointed so many times in the past that you are now needing to move on. Okay. So, not a bad card at all. Sometimes the moving on process is just what we need. Spirit, please give me a general reading for the sign of Leo, covering their past, present, and future. What does Leo need to know regarding their past, present, and future? Twelve cards. We're going to be clarifying uh, the core cards using my method. Well, it's not my method, but it is a method that I've used in the past. So, we won't be using a separate deck to clarify today. Spirit, what are the messages and energies, the general messages and energies that you have for the sign of Leo 
All Leos out there that may be watching, Leo suns, Leo moons, Leo risings. Leo's on the cusp, and also if you have your Venus and Leo. What do they need to know regarding their mid-month reading? Looking at the energies of the past, present, and future. For all my Leos out there that may be tuning in. For all Leos out there that may be tuning in, what do they need to know? Leo suns, Leo moons, Leo risings. Leo's on the cusp. And also those of you that have your Venus in Leo. Let's do one more shuffle here, guys. And I'll be putting down the cards. Oh, they want one more, one more, one more. Alright. I'm doing a little bit of a different setup today, camera-wise. I was just getting tired of my, my other tripod. So I hope you don't mind the uh, absurd angle of this camera. <laughs> it is really kind of crazy. Uh, I like the bird's eye view though. I think it's it's helpful. So in the past we have the five of arrows in reverse. Um, we've got the princess of cups in reverse with the judgment card in reverse. Some of you may have been dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces in the past. We've got the five of coin in reverse, five of coins, sorry, in reverse in your past, and we have the ten of cups in reverse in the past. Going into the present, we have the ten of staves, the nine of coin, transformation. Uh, in this deck, transformation is the death card. The same as the death card, Persephone and Pluto, the story of Persephone and Pluto. Each of these cards, uh, the major arcana has a love story, uh, mythological, uh, symbolic love story attached to it. So we also have Grace, which resonates with the star, the story of Dante and Beatrice. Going into the future, let me move the cards up here. By the way, Leo, your cards look fantastic so far, so you have nothing to worry about. Yet, we have the Three of Staves going into the future, the Three of Coins, we have uh, the card of Tradition, Romeo and Juliet, and we have the Prince of Cups, clarified with the Two of Coins. Um, I will do an outcome card. We have the Princess of Arrows in reverse. Clarified with the, wow, clarified with the Prince of Staves upright and the Five of Staves. Okay, so some communication uh, cards here. Definitely dealing with some personalities for sure. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups reversed. So if you're watching this over on YouTube, um, I just wanted to let you know that I will be doing the entire reading over on Patreon. Uh, I used to do all these readings always at the mid-month over on Patreon. I'm going to continue doing it uh, that way until I go back. I have like several different formats that I rotate around with. But if you're interested in receiving a general mid-month reading with me, you can join me over on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash the good, the bad, and the tarot. I will be talking about the reading, going through the cards here, and we'll be pulling a message at the end of the reading. So it's $1 to pledge. Um, you get all 12 signs for a dollar, which is ridiculous. It's also ad-free over there. You can comment uh, and like the readings just like you do on YouTube. Um, there really isn't much of a difference except that you are getting 24, at least 24 readings a month for a dollar, and they're all ad-free. So you can't beat the deal. It's fantastic, and uh, a lot of people have voted to bring these readings back, so that's why I am doing them this month. Um, I hope to see you over there, and uh, thank you so much for watching if you got up to this point.